Fork. This has the power. Whether it is powering your refrigerator or whether it's powering your power tools, this is as much power as we, as money can buy in an HSN exclusive. It is a sale price. It is over $100 off, over $100 off for $629.95. Six flexible payments as long as supplies last. Customer pick. Boy, oh boy, if there was a time in history where we could say, I want one less thing to worry about, then this is that time. Remember, it is coming along with our 90 day return policy, and you don't have to worry about gas which is a big thing. You just take the propane that you use from your local, well, from your grill, or that you maybe have in your house right now, or I should say your house, your garage right now. And of course, you are gonna use this outside, because like I said, it's got torque. It's got power. You can do stuff. 681934. I would love for you to see that quantity left real quickly. And then, uh, okay, oh wow. So last 500, 485, and that is it. You can even see this powering that RV. Well, he's safer at home. I have to say he's probably got the best seat in the house. Justin, Justin Hyatt is here. How you doing, my friend? I'm sitting comfy. I basically haven't left this spot in, uh, in days. But you know exactly what you're, you're talking about, Shannon, when you're talking about the Furman generator, because you even said it too. Is being prepared probably one of the biggest things we're thinking about right now, right? I mean, and one less thing to worry about is going to be having power and not having to think about losing power. How many have, have you uh, have you have stocked your refrigerators and your freezer full of food? You don't want to have to think about losing power. This Furman generator is going to be that much power for all of your appliances, your refrigerators, your power tools, and it's even enough power to power up your RVs. So. For a lot of you are wondering, if I lose power, what am I going to do? Grab this Furman generator. It's going to be enough power for your home, for your RV, for camping, and everything in between. Hey, it, like in my neighborhood, I don't know what it is. Maybe I suck all the energy out of the room. Maybe I just suck all the energy out of my neighborhood. But we, for whatever reason, it must just be our location. We're in... Um, I mean, kind of like a little business complex where we get a lot of brownouts, we get a lot of power shortages, and. The sound of happiness is not I love you in my world. The sound of happiness is a generator. And my next door neighbors actually have a generator and forget borrowing that cup of sugar. I wanna borrow their generator. And I am not so handy around the house since I'm spending more time at home. I'm now discovering I, I do not have mad skills in that area. Normally when you're dealing, first of all, who's gonna keep gasoline in your garage? I mean, none of us. So Justin, at the end of the day, this is a problem solver without creating the other problems per se that we might associate it with having the kind of power like we're getting with this unit. Yeah, so it's more than just the amount of power. It's really this, the usability. And you mentioned it, it's, it's the gasoline alternative. When you're looking at generators, there are other alternatives to gasoline. With propane, you don't have to worry about it spilling. You don't have to worry about it smelling. When you go to pick up your propane tank, it's ready and available. And if there's a natural disaster, you don't have to wait in line because if you picked up a couple 20 pound uh, propane tanks, they can sit in your garage or your shed for 10 years and still be good for you to use. So think about it. You can grab that propane tank out of your barbecue that's been sitting there for a couple of years and still use that with your generator. And that's what's so great about this Furman generator. It's built specifically and exclusively for all of you at HSN is that you can use it with propane. And a lot of people don't even realize that you can use propane with your generator, but it's just the easiest and cleanest. And one of the best parts about that too is the maintenance you don't have the maintenance that you typically have with gas because if you left gasoline inside of that pro inside of your generator, you'd have to worry about the next time you use it, cleaning out the, the fuel lines, cleaning out the carburetor. All of those things are just added things you don't want to have to think about and you don't have to think about with using propane. So it's something you can easily store and then just easily just pop in. But when you do have those blackouts and brownouts, it might not be a full week, 
but you can then go ahead and connect it to your generator and start it up right away so you can get those microwaves in your blenders. And if you're looking at other, other alternatives like those electric ones, you can't plug in any heating elements or any of those microwaves or uh, a heater. So if you lose power from a snowstorm, you can't heat yourself with an electric generator. You can with this propane generator. And I, I, Justin, I don't know if you have any other areas of this, but I, I can tell you with the limited quantities that we have, I think for a lot of us uh, as Americans, we're, we're thinking of our homes, we're thinking of ourselves, we're thinking of our modern conveniences a little bit differently. Forget love means you never have to say you're sour. sorry. Power means that you never have to worry about is that baby formula, is my insulin, are my medications, is my television, is my computer going to work? Because in fact, that's why we've got the setup adjacent to where I'm standing. There is torque, there is power. So if it ain't loud, it doesn't have this kind of power. Um, Justin, I'm wondering if you could maybe give us a little tour of the unit that, that you yeah. have at, at your home, because uh, take me on kind of this out of box experience. Is, is it complicated? Is it hard to use? Take some of the fear factor out of this for me. Yeah, if you're a new owner, if you're wanting to become a new owner to a generator, this is a great intro because you don't have to worry about all of the fear factor that comes along with some of those other generators out there on the market. When you get this at home, there's virtually nothing that you have to do. It already comes pre-installed. The only thing you may have to do is unscrew stuff, and that's just simply for packaging. Um, other than that, it comes pre-installed with even the wheels, and that's something that you don't typically get when you're buying generators on the market. They don't all come with wheels, so it makes it a lot easier. You also have a really nice ergonomical handle, so you can go ahead and even pad it and nice rubber wheels so you can go ahead and maneuver this around your yard and then even maneuver it if you're an RVer or if you're becoming a prepper. And so when we're thinking about getting this out of the box, literally that's it. And then all you do is you take that propane tank that again could be living in your barbecue. Mine's actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll tilt my, my camera so you can see, there's my barbecue right there. And I just literally took it out, the, out of my barbecue and then connected it to my generator and then I'm done. So once you get it connected, you literally have everything at your disposal. So here's all of your indicators. This is gonna be your power switches. And then right here are all your outlets. And what I love about this is, is you have all of your regular wall outlets. So you can plug in your extension cables. And we do have some extension cables available from Furman as well. This one right here, I just mentioned RVers. This is RV ready. So you can have this generator connected to your RV, powering that AC unit, powering your refrigerator, powering the light inside of that RV. That's how much power is inside of this. And then this is just another extension cable for that Furman that we were just mentioning. And then Shannon, I wanna just mention these numbers right here. The, it, we call this a 3300 running watt generator, but this top one is extremely important because when you're plugging in larger appliances, let's say an air conditioning unit, it peaks up at let's say a higher ampage or higher watts, but then it runs at a much lower. So you want to have, when you're looking at generators, a higher starting watt. That way you know and you can feel confident when you're plugging in these larger appliances that it's going to work. And that's really your whole out of body or out of body. <laughs> it feels like an out of body experience right now with everything that's going on, but out of box experience with this propane tank. And then just one last thing, Shannon, and I'll send it right back to you is, that when I put this away, there's no maintenance that I have to worry about. So after you've used it now, and I wanna reuse it, it that, that experience is I don't have to go ahead and clean anything. I literally just do the exact same thing that I did when I got it out of the box, connect my propane, and then it starts right up, and then I'm done. I, I, I think that's a, a really key point for someone like myself when I said I'm not necessarily famous for my honeydew projects, and I'm, on, I'm the only honey for the doing. And the fact that this is really out of the box friendly, chances are you already have that propane tank that's firing up that backyard grill or what have you. It is a little bit louder. That's why I'm not standing adjacent to the units that are powering our backyard. Um, I don't think we had room for it today, but it does, if you go online, we've got past videos that we've posted where you can see that it will power a full-size refrigerator. Now, that was a big one for me. And, and Justin, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm saying anything that I shouldn't be, but when I saw that in the videotape of previous airings, it's kind of like you had me at hello. I, yeah. uh, listen, I could probably do without AC before I could do without a refrigerator. Well, you know, to the point of the refrigerator, how, we've all stocked up. We're, we've become preppers it, just because of everything that's happening. 
the last thing you want to think about is losing power and then losing all that food that you just stacked up on. And then for a lot of us who are in you know, warmer climates, we don't want to worry about losing power. It's about being prepared today so you're ready for tomorrow. And that's really what a generator is all about. It's that it's the, it takes not only the intimidation out, it takes the fear out, but it, it takes the thinking out of it. You know that you've got that ready and available. And that brings me back to the whole point and, uh, and the importance of having a propane is that you know that if you went and you got propane tanks today, 10 years from now, nine years, five years from now, if you needed to use your generator for an emergency, those propane tanks that have been sitting there are gonna work and your generator's gonna work. If you were pick up, uh, if you were gonna pick up one of those gas generators, there's so much more that's involved. Propane takes all of that fear out and all of the thinking out of it because it's just made simple and it burns clean. So when propane burns, you don't have to worry about it cooking up if you leave gas in there because you just forgot because we're all just you know humans, we forget. So if you forget to take that the gas out, you're gonna have to worry about cleaning those fuel lines, the carburetors. With a propane tank, you don't. And I, the other alternative that we, we keep mentioning is, of course, there's a lot of these power stations out there, which are great for a lot of things, plugging in small uh, appliances, like our computers and our phones and our tablets. But if you want something that when you're, in, you're, you're investing your money into knowing that you're confident, have something like this to power up a refrigerator, you want a generator and, and a propane generator like this from Furman. And by the way, Furman does nothing but make generators. There's 10, I believe they've made 10 million generators out there on the market. So they're one of the leaders out there. And this one's made specifically for you, the customer, because this one is made to be easy, to take the fear out. And for times just like this, to take the thinking out of it and to know that you're confident when it when you need it, it's ready and it's going to work right when you want it to. Well, and again, if it ain't loud, it ain't got torque. That's why we've got all, <laughs> all our things um, powering over there. So, Justin, it does come with a cover. And I'm, yes. I'm looking at my, my cards of information a better or bigger warranty than they do elsewhere? That's correct. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think, is it a three or four year? I can't remember. According to my legally approved information, let me consult the card as Check it, it were. Check it like a Polaroid. <laughs> three year limited warranty plus two year. Wow. Two year additional uh, extension for HSN customers. Plus we have our 90 day return policy. So uh, certainly in this challenging time in which we live, um, uh, I, I, I promise I, I wasn't saying it to be tongue in cheek or facetious, but you know, thank goodness Justin bailed me out. Uh, when I said <laughs> I, could, I could easily do without my AC more than I could do without my refrigerator. But even prior to recent events, I, I am in the kitchen a lot and I, I'll just tell you, I, sp I spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on food on a weekly basis. And that's even before, you know, we started to, to just be mindful of, do I have produce? Am I eating healthy? Do I have chicken breasts? You know, all the things that we're doing now, let alone the safety and security of safety has no season, but certainly 12 months out of the year, whether it's winter storms, like my parents up north, or it's hurricane season, which is rapidly approaching here in Florida. Certainly, um, I, I can't speak for our, our Florida power companies, but I, but I would assume the burden of proof or the burden of power is at a higher rate now, just because more people are at home. So, you know, maybe I, I'm just, I know I'm personally probably using more electricity than I would normally be using because I am home. And the fact that you have this powered simply by propane, like Justin said, no maintenance, no crazy gizmos or what's it's, uh, we get that extended warranty. We get the 90 day return policy and we get that brand name that you trust. Not a lot of these to go around. So this was saved for this show. I'm pretty much guessing this will probably be the only airing. I, I can't imagine with only 480 of these remaining that there would be another broadcast airing. Quite often when we have something like this, I, I realize even though it's an amazing price, it's over $100 off our HSN price, over $100 off our price. Not to say the least of what you'd spend at retail, but this is an HSN exclusive. And I, I know it's still what I, I would probably call a considered purchase. That's why it's nice to have that 90 day return policy and that two 
three-year extension beyond the uh, traditional three-year manufacturer's warranty. Um, Justin, we're about halfway through the presentation. I would love it if we could kind of reset here. Let's talk about the brand name, the exclusivity, the power, how easy is this to use, and what can I expect it to power when I get it at home? Yeah, so to start from the top, we'll start with the brand, Furman. Furman is one of those brands that does nothing but make generators. So their whole entire company is revolves and breathes nothing but generators to make them better and better every year. And so they all go through rigorous amount of tests. They go through heat tests, uh, cold tests, because when you're out in the middle of Phoenix, Arizona, and you lose power, you want to know that you can leave your generator outside and it's still going to work in that heat. And the same goes for that ice cold tundra of Minneapolis that Shannon and I know so well. If it's 30 below, you want to know that it's been tested and proven. And so Furman does and goes through all of those tests to make sure every single one of these is going to work for you, the customer. And each one goes through, each individual one goes through its own test as well. And when we start talking about this as a great item for you, the customer, it's built for you. It's built for you because Furman has taken all of that experience of building generators and knows what's easy. And easy is what propane is. Propane takes the whole entire fear and the pain out of owning a generator because when you use a propane tank, it means that it burns clean, it's more accessible, it lasts longer, and frankly, it's easier to transport. So if you're going to get propane from a gas station, it's a lot easier than taking gas tanks, going to a gas station and transporting it from your car now to your home or even an RV. So it's easy from that standpoint as well. And when we talk about why they've built this one and why they've given it this much power, it's because they wanted to make sure that it covered every necessity and need for just about everybody out there. So if you're wanting a Furman generator for that emergency backup, you have enough power in this generator for just that. It's RV ready for a lot of you campers and RVers out there are wanting to get something that's easy for, for using for camping. You're gonna love this one. And the other thing too is, it's just got that much power for all the other appliances in your home. It takes the fear out, but it's also, it gives you the peace of mind. So we just talked about air, air conditioning. Ultimately, I think the biggest thing is being prepared, and especially just taking the, the thought process of what if today I lose power? If you lose power right now, you pop in your generator, get it connected, and then you're done. So that's why we created this, and that's why we've given you that extra warranty, because it is that name brand, Furman, and we know it, and we love it, and we trust it. You, you absolutely will. So remember, uh, if you are joining us, I'm Shannon. This is a special little show that we float in and out. It's called Shannon's in, in the House. And certainly at a time when most of us as Americans are spending more time in the house, we want to make sure that you have the power that you need to really fuel not just life's little conveniences, but some of the safety and considerations when we talk about meat and produce, but maybe more importantly, medications. So you can run, that run time, that's an approximation, of course, how many things are you powering? What exactly are you powering? But for not much larger than an ice chest, it's going to power the big stuff, the big stuff. Now you are getting the cover. So, uh, and I apologize, I, I'd walk over there, but he's loud, he's got torque. What would Tim Allen go? I mean, and yeah, it will power your to power tools and so much more. So you do get that complete kit as well. Uh, I love this little graphic because um, really no special uh, plug-in per se. That propane, you can see the refrigerators, washers, dryers. I have one of those great generators that we, it was actually one of our today's specials in the last week. I just bought it and I love it. I think it's an amazing idea, but what are you gonna do about the washer? What are you gonna do about the dryer? What are you gonna do about your RV? What are you gonna do about the full size refrigerator? What are you gonna do about your air conditioner, your sump pump, your well pumps, your, your furnaces? So uh, I know Justin was talking, we're, we both hail from up north in 12 months out of the year. Safety has no season. 
We are HSN exclusive. They are giving, or we are giving you an additional two year warranty beyond the three years manufacturer's warranty. We are doing six flexible payments, which is something that we only normally do on today's specials. We're taking over a hundred dollars off your price, over a hundred dollars off your price. And we would love to get this home to you, certainly in a time in history when we are more aware of our safety, of our security, of our home's conveniences. And I, I think, Justin, at the end of the day, there is something about this kind of purchase. Listen, I, I'm, I'm looking at my home in a whole new way, and I, I see nothing but stuff. I see the shoes. I see the handbags. I have the purchases of regrets everywhere I look around in my home. This is not one of those purchases where you go, now, why in the world did I buy that? Because honest to goodness, the best thing to happen is that you don't necessarily need it. But in addition to that, kind of like Murphy's Law, when you have it, you will never, ever regret knowing that you have this at the ready. Well, well definitely. Uh, for me, and not to, to make it very doom and gloom, but if I had an asthma attack, I have asthma, I've had it my whole life. If I needed power, I, I want to know that I, I can use and plug in my nebulizer if I had that emergency. Great for a lot of you who need CPAP machines to be able to get through that night. And we were putting that graphic up and showing you that runtime. If you're using, I have a 20 pound propane tank. If you're using it on 50% load, that's 11 hours that you're gonna get from that 20 pound propane tank. The other thing too is, is yes, you know there are other alternatives. What are they? There's gas. And we keep mentioning that because for all of you who are maybe new to generators, gas can be a real pain. And it's a pain because one, it doesn't last long. So if you were to pick up gas now, it would last maybe 30 days before it starts to turn into sludge. To prevent that, you can put in some uh, some solution that makes it last a little bit longer, but that'll last maybe a couple years. If you don't if you don't forget to take the gas out of your propane tank, well, then that's another issue. So these are things that you don't want to think about. That's why you want propane. If you wanted to pick up propane, think about this. It's going to last you 10 years. So if like Shannon was just saying, maybe you don't use it for two years, three years. You don't need to use your generator. How nice is it to know that when you need it in those next two years, in, the thir in those three years, that that propane that you picked up is going to be good, that you didn't have to clean out the fuel lines of your generator, that right when you need it, it's going to work. When you want to plug in that refrigerator, when you want to plug in those the microwave, the washer machine, if you're using this on RVing, which brings me to the other alternative, which is these power stations that we're seeing, which are great. They, they, they are great for what they do, but what they can't do outweighs what they can do. What they can't do is they can't do those big appliances. They can't do those heaters, our air conditioning units. They can't do the major refrigerators and our freezers. So these are things to think about. And this is why I think this just, for me, has made it such a great and easy decision because we were watching me and my girlfriend a show on I'm prepping and it was very timely. And then she looked at me, she's like, well, I'm glad that we've got that generator. And that was just something that we deal with about. But right now it's just something that's at the top of our mind is just be prepared. Prepare today so you're ready for tomorrow. That's what this generator is all about. What, hey, Justin, you can't see this, but how timely is that? Will it, will it power our monitors? I'm not even kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Are you losing power out yeah, there? The, the monitor that I use to see your 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 face from far and away. See, but that's a case in point. That that's my little safety net. So, I swear, I I couldn't make this up if I, if, Charlie. I know we can't probably show that's it, but no funny. kidding, we we lost power to our monitor, which I think just illustrates a point. There, whether it's that CPAC machine, whether you do have asthma, whether it is medications, whether it is access to life-saving information on the internet or your computer or, you know, making sure that refrigerator is still powered up, there are certain things that become our safety net. There are certain things that become, that, that we are reliant on for safety and otherwise. And the fact that we are taking over $100 off Doing, of course, a 90-day return policy. Six flex pay is something that, once more, we usually only do when it's a today's special, and we have fewer than 500 of these. So regardless of, I guess the best thing that can happen is that you don't necessarily need it, but it's nice to know that you have it. Certainly a considered purchase, but 
It's as close to a lifetime purchase as maybe almost anything that I've ever offered here at HSN. And I, I, I have to say, Justin, whether people are using this home or away, I love the fact that some of that videotape footage included an RV. Sometimes when you're going completely off the grid and, you know, a lot of people, a lot of Americans are using this as a time to, you know, get out specifically in nature. And we've got some great parks in the Tampa St. Petersburg area here, but especially when you go out to God's backyard, there's not necessarily a power strip or an outlet that's available for what I need, Justin. Well, right, so uh, to mention really quickly, if you're in a work environment like Shannon is right now and you need power tools, you know somebody needs power tools, you wanna have a generator. And I can't tell you how many people we see on social media and I see on all my social media going camping, going and just getting away and isolating. So it's great that this, you're capable of doing that right now. But don't you wanna know that you still bring that power with you? And that's what's great about this is if you are an RVer, if you're just going camping, you want to throw this in the back of the truck or the SUV, I want to know that I can just throw a propane tank in the back and not have to worry about that spilling or a couple propane tanks thrown in the back and not worry about that spilling or how old is that gasoline? Is it going to spill? Is it going to smell? These are things that I don't want to have to think about. And for me, as a, as a, what a, a new owner for the past couple of years of a generator, I love this because I know that tomorrow if I'm going camping, I don't have to think about it. I grab my propane tank and I go to God's neck of the woods and I'm off the grid and I have all the power that I need. So if you're wanting to be an RVer, if you wanted to be a camper, this is a great, great generator for you. And even if you've had one of those gas generators, I read so many forums on people who say, I'm moving to propane because it's just so much easier. It's cleaner. There's things that I don't have to think about. So if you're one of those, you are maybe a prepper, an RVer, or if you're becoming a, a new owner of a generator, this is a great way to get in into that in the generator.